It's time for the operation. So, whirlwind. U.S. attack. INS defend. U.S. are crossing the bridge. They can only use these bridges. INS are on the radio tower. They are living life as hard as they possibly can. They'll defend that position. Anything else that they uh, they feel like they need to take in in, uh, in the course of uh, being awesome here in Coet Toy Valley. All right, uh, we've got uh, Dash being command of U.S. this round. He's going to give a round one brief as soon as the rest of his guys come over. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, can I join in on this? How to properly cook food. No, it's too far away. It isn't. I'm an ally. Okay, are we all here? No, all right, here we go. We're going to listen in on this brief. I like how our hey, AR the Brits come are from? British. <laughs> that's that's yeah. the AR kids. <laughs> Even Hold on, they're here to observe. Is a British SL kit? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, the dude oh, a SL it's a NATO mission, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Welcome to Opa Wait. Opa Wait. Operation <laughs> World Wait. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Get that doorknob out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody clip welcome that. To, uh, welcome to Operation Whirlwind. This is a U.S. attack on a fortified INS position. The dirty insurgents have taken over the radio station and are broadcasting their, uh... and their, their music and their bad, mean words. And we don't like that. So, we're gonna try to take it back from... Uh, please open your maps and I'll show you what the plan is. So, of live, we're gonna raise your maps, splitting. One will be going to the north in India 5, and the other will be going in the area roughly around uh, Gulf 10. Their objective, basically suppressing fire on the flank and looking for any elements that might be maneuvering. Some of their commanders are known to be take very wide flanks, so we've always got, constantly got to be on the watch out, the lookout for that. While they're doing that, infantry including myself will be making a southeasterly push basically going towards the fields to the northwest of point. From there, our squads will split up into a three-pronged trident stack. We'll have Educan squad marked by the machine gun marks going up the hill. Directly, we will have Hada's squad represented by the marksman marks going around to the south. Uh, and then they're going to be f coming up the hill basically to the side of the enemy. And while they are doing that, Wolfgang, will, marked by the lap marks, will be going around the north northeast, and then coming on the, coming on top of the hill. Poor wording, sorry. So basically, in short, we're gonna have three squads attacking from three different angles, covered by HMG fire, and mortar barrages as necessary. Any questions, comments, or major concerns? Nope. Okay. Uh, get set and let's get ready for live. This with an AR. And we are live with round one of Operation Whirlwind. Guys, we're US, so we're not expected to win, so make sure you have fun. Bet. We will win. US not expected to win? We will. So, Pony, Pony and or Blackbeard are going to flank. I have no doubt about it. Wait, the, uh, US aren't expected yeah. to win? You know, if this was Soviet Russia, he could commissar it so fast. <laughs> Detroit Sniper. It's a nice try to briefing. We're gonna go that way. And uh, 40 of us are gonna go that way. Uh, some of us aren't coming back. So if you see him, kill him. Uh, before they kill you. God bless. Godspeed. Not God bless. I don't know, my default, my default, uh, disappointment slash, uh, disappointing response is God bless. I don't know, that changed. You know how the certain phrases that you say just change over time? Like, you decide something doesn't sound cool anymore, and then you just, you just, you just mix it up. 
It's no longer bro, it's bra. It's no longer oof, it's called a bra moment. Uh, what else? I don't know. Examples like that. You know, it's just changing what your, what you, what your, uh... Like how it used to be not acceptable to say Pog. Like Pog Champ. And now all the cool streamers do it. Like it's... Every other word is Pog Champ. Pog Champ Forehead Omega LOL. Yeah, capital P Pog. Any Baconers? See, you're supposed to reference other streamers to be relevant. That's what I feel like Twitch is... Twitch is supposed to be. You're supposed to be relevant, you're supposed to reference them enough so that they notice you. I don't know. Um, we're gonna... It's still early on. You, uh, Militia have pushed out quite a bit, and oh, look at that, as an SPG. Um... This thing, they're looking at, they're looking at this thing. They're looking towards this way. They won't have eyes on it until it turns they're around this, fired. um... Oh, yeah, I see. Five, two, they five. see us. Hello. Oh, they're gonna take a shot? They, they could take a shot from here, I think. Oh, God, I kinda yeah, wanna engage. They already see us as a squad lead. So, the radio tower has spot yeah, yeah. these guys. Hey, oh! Oh One down, God, Mega Batman. Shots. Holy shit. <laughs> One of the uh, push-up squads actually made it to the hill I was talking about. Dude, you, you almost headshot him. Big and Batman is destroyed by Steve-O on the 50 cal. And we have our first kill of the round. You were just slightly low, by the way. Like, those shots were fucking good. Yeah, you were, you were pretty close. Um, now everyone's just like, oh my god, you did it. Yeah, they already can last us, so... This is one of the times where I just, I have the feeling, I have the itch to like, just chime in over local. Yeah, he totally nailed that guy at 600 meters. He's the one who would even dare to take a thousand meter shot at a vehicle. Matt taking out one person. Bartok here. So, the, the meta reads here are absolutely on point. Bartok and Blackbeard squad is actually going to pull back. I wonder where they're going. They're heading northeast. So maybe that's this ridge line that could be getting on this hill slope, uh, sort of shelf right here. Um, so for reference, they were on this hill. They've moved off. They're moving behind a. They're moving in front of that building cluster right there. Matter of fact, you can see Regan. Region of Terra. He's actually looks like he's behind that building. The hill cluster I'm talking about is actually sort of this uh, this shallow rundown off the side of the mountain right there. Yeah, if you want to see more stuff like this, you know, follow and uh, follow Twitch. Turn on notifications. Sup, YouTube. You Turn on notifications. Just above those buildings, but much further out. We're, uh... Bush, roll like five we're putting... Edited videos on YouTube, pretty much every week. Yeah, we're, five we're doing the streams, you know, three five times a week. Back, Even more, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, You're free to engage. Yeah. I think the next time a Mars okay, event yeah, rolls I'm around, okay, I'm up. going back to... Um... I'm gonna play it on US and stream it. Okay, I see it now. I love playing Mars events on Op 4. But, um... Roger, we, uh, hop out I think... I think unless, uh, okay, we have someone else that can stream on that day, we're going to, uh... I'm gonna stream it from US. Might even squad lead that guy. Uh, US getting closer now. U.S. getting close. Within 300 meters of a squad in defensive position. Let's take a look here. Part of Squad 1 INS on the hillside. They have some pretty good cover. Of course, the U.S. are proceeding along the river. And I'm hearing some shots, actually. That must be 
Blackbeard squad getting uh getting Straight attacked. And Educan. Or Blackbeard squad maybe putting some uh, bullets down. The composition up here is kind of interesting. Looks like they split a squad up. They're kind of bounding fire team to fire team. These guys, two AR. Is this two We're ARs? No, it's just one AR. It's a pretty good position. At least one the uh, well, MRAP getting a little confident here in the north is pushed past. Was going to turn up north? This is the big fork in the road. This is usually an indicator of how aggressive US wants to be. Of course, there's also the indicator that two squads are north of this position. Oh, and shots being fired from U.S. on the uh, on this land feature here, this this rise, this mesa. Somebody just got shot up. I guess it was an FTL. No, it wasn't an FTL. Edekin covering, uh, scare them. he's gonna scare them, guys. What are the assets? I missed the brief. Uh, US have some infantry, they got a couple yeah, MRAPs. Uh, INS have some infantry, they got a rocket techie, they got a logi truck. I think they can run logistics. They can also rearm the logi truck, or sorry, the rocket tech techie. But they can also build two SPGs and two HMGs on radio tower. The objective here is a U.S. assault on radio tower. Shadowrath gets nailed. Look at this, U.S. able to creep a fire team closer. And they've actually pushed past the bridge defense fire team. Lima Bean has eyes on someone cresting the hill here. And I think, uh... I think Seneca just realized what's going on. He gets shot at and he falls back. He's okay, though. NC Hill wounded but gets away. From this, uh... Whoa, what was that? They're trying to shoot the Mesa with the rocket techie. Rocket overflew. Either that or it's a missed right, SPG right, shot. No, yeah. it must be a missed SPG Grand shot. Guido. They're trying to aim on... That's kind of weird. Why would you... Maybe it was just overshoot. Another SPG shot overshooting. This is one life. Right now, six kills US, zero for INS. Bartok is dead. That's bad news. Who is gonna kill the vehicles and win the round for INS? It's gonna be someone else now. All right, Razor, we had two KIA, so they might be booking it south. Okay. There's still some shots over here in the uh, Northeast. They're booking it east, uh, Razor. U.S. are suppressing the remainder of Blackbeard's squad here. Or what are they shooting at? Must be another group. Oh, yeah, right. here they go. Understood, Wolfgang. We're going to try to cut them off. Gotcha. I'm getting a grid now. Yep, Five, down, seven, six, seven. Look over this ridge. Look over this ridge really carefully. Where are they going? Shit, 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 shit. Okay, Ooh. okay. 115 just below the road. Don't get shot. Nail. They're on those trees. They're on the trees. All three of those trees. I'm right open up. Just... Salty toast. Unfortunate, don't get shot, misses every single belt of that, or ammo in that, or piece of ammo in that belt. Wow. That was horrible. Oh, and beware, it gets decapitated by the 50 cal. 50 cal gonna add in some more here. Steve are doing work. Beaster gets nailed in the back by the Spire team. How come no INS perspective on the match? Um, they're defending. Defending's easy, and it's not complicated. The U.S. Uh, movement is much more interesting. The U.S. communication is going to be much more interesting, I think. Rocket taking down point. 
So we try to keep uh, we try to keep up with the action. We follow offensive teams when there's only one camera on the stream. And I mentioned the last time I streamed that I started a uh, GoFundMe, Patreon, and Subscribestar to get me a like a three thousand dollar machine that can uh, handle all the multicam stuff. Hey, uh, the buddy team with uh, uh, links forthcoming. Squad out here. Also, I'm not serious about that. I'm not serious about that. It's just, right. just to clarify, there yeah, is no subscribe button we'll, uh, we'll be right uh, for us. There is no we'll donate thing that goes directly to my wallet. But you can donate to Squad Ops if you want. Squadops.gg slash donate. Educan, I'm assuming you cleared out those contacts on Nipple Hill. A firm. If you can't try to get down into the. If you're not familiar, Squad Ops is a uh, volunteer community. We run events in a game called Squad. We organize games. We're doing something, you know. Oh! Meanwhile, Money Man gets Darth and here's this Ishmi both in the face. Grenade? Question mark? Maybe no follow up. This is a scheduled event, so no one can just join in. Oh, Ishmi! Nope. Darth actually eats that entire grenade. Ishby's fine? Left of the radio hey, is. Power relative to him, there's a dish the How is he not dead? That grenade went off right? Maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll fall back a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, this is not random squads. Um, all the players that play in our operations have to go through basic uh, squad ops tactics and training. Higher, higher. Once you complete basic SOTT, you can sign up for pretty much anything on the calendar. Basic SOTT is required for participation. Just, yeah, so you can't just, uh, can't just join server yeah, like and join a squad and go to town. Okay. We're looking for 18 plus, um, players that are willing to put in a little bit of time to get a little bit of excitement. Or get a lot of bit of excitement out of playing these scenarios we've cooked up. Yeah, you just gotta keep checking that calendar, my dude. Uh, four is split up pretty badly here. They're kind of cornered. Money Man did some damage to him. U.S. What direction? Uh, east. These guys are trying to figure out a way to reconnect with this squad. Command and squad three are about ready to head up the delta, the center delta in the map. And. They're gonna be spotted by Dorf. Ugh. Dorf doesn't have an AR with him. So this is kind of a big oof. But he does have an AR close by. To the north, he's got a silent, which is pretty good. I gotta say. Let's take a look at these defenses. I just joined start over. No! Oh, here we go. Oh, the rocket took What is he trying to shoot from here? He's trying to nail this infantry, I guess? No, this infantry. Oh, he's trying to nail the rocket. He's trying to nail the technical. Or, sorry, the Matt V. Matt V is over here. You could barely see the infantry on the center of your map. Oh, the center of the screen right there. You see the rockets a little short by about 50 to 100 meters. The spread is pretty wide on those things once you get past, like... Once you get past, um, 500 meters. Oh! A couple of those were pretty close. Silas and Alpha Guido have that. It, they're moving the MRAP into danger, potentially. The rockets just not. Uh, the RNG's not on the. Uh, not on the INS side right now. They need to pray a little harder. The uh, Matt V. Getting out of there, but most of those rockets are overshooting. You can barely see the trail 
as they land in the distance, you hear them popping out there to the southwest. U.S. still maneuvering. Uh, Squad 2 chasing Blackbeard's element. Squad 1 had little resistance here, but they're pushed up. They're moving to the, uh, the northern fields. And there's this village here at Hotel 66 that they'll probably use to get up on this hill. And it's just a decision from these guys whether or not they want to push uh, around this hill right here, this hill at Hotel 62. This hill right here has a lot of crags on the top of it. And if you have an MMG or something like that, it would be great to deploy it right here to give you a little bit more cover. The problem is U.S. can be outgunned from this position. Not just outnumbered, but outgunned. They do have HMGs. As a matter of fact, you could see Pluto unloading his HMG on the suspected U.S. position far away. Either that, or he almost TK'd Vister. I, I think it was... I think he might have been trying to hit the, uh, the MRAP over here. Razor and Lib are trying to scale this hill and the MRAP, yeah, he's trying to hit the MRAP. He's gotten close. I see some of those, uh, the cloud kickups from his rounds. And you can see the tracers from the HMG overshooting. They're trying to get the MRAP in the right position here to respond. And just above the bush, you can see that turret. He's reloading the gun on the Dishka. <clears throat> Let's see if uh, Viper can hit this guy when he comes back in. AR rounds are also flying through. You can see those tracers going uh, left to right. They're coming from the radio tower. Command, looks like they're firing rockets to their east. The rocket techies actually turned around. They're... I wonder if the rocket techies reloading, rearming. That must be what it is. The US getting closer here. Uh, about 20 minutes since live, we're 12 to 5. Oh, now look at this. Flicker is underneath, underneath the, uh, the MRAP, and he's got his binox out so he can scout the radio tower. And he's talking Viper onto target. Oh, well, he would be talking Viper on the target. But Viper can just see from here. Dishka is not even lower. manned. No, it is manned. Can. Can you tell oh, there we go. Dishka gonna get pegged in the back of the head. I don't know if that was him or, Ste or the, uh, the other so Patrick, we'll gunner, but there's a lot of people dying on the radio tower right now. U.S. getting closer. Yeah, Fire Team Plus has moved into nine. the hills north of Radio nine, Tower. So just your east. Patrick and I will push up, and you'll hit them from the west. Copy that. We're gonna clear that up. And actually, we're gonna look at this. Uh, these guys over here in the uh, valley. INS getting aggressive. Fire Team actually chasing the remainder of four. Seneca leading this squad now, since Adakin died. Let me know when you're pushing. I'm gonna drop a smoke barrage here. And Midas Cover. is about ready to run up behind them. He's got support behind about 50 meters. Lima could uh, could reasonably add in fire support here, but he's got so much foliage between him and the targets here. Midas is running away. Oh, and Lima. Gets up to a position where he can see across the field. I wonder if he sees these guys. He might see these guys if they pop up here. And hey, we're going to hold here. We're going to hit this compound to check them up to the east. And then we're going to be laying down some fire onto the right, that hill to the east. About, it's about like 50 team. meters. I don't know if you can that's see that. The so that hill is okay. probably is that hill right there, the which back. if they... All right, here comes our smoke. Concentrated smoke fire mission. Trying to block off some of the HMG. 
and suppression being added on the other side of the smoke as the smoke continues to build. Probably not as much smoke as you'd think you'd see. There's a couple of different off-map smoke uh, assets that U.S. have. They have a squad level asset, which is, I think that was what that was. There's also a command level asset that is a much wider dispersal. No one watching their six, but INS have pulled off. I guess Midas, like, saw them and they didn't see them at all. These guys are right, as as the really scale, risking it though. INS falling up. back. Dorf that was watching the Delta has yeah. fallen off this point. Meanwhile, squad one out. in the north yeah. making real progress. Let's take a look at where these guys are at. They're, they're pretty close to the to the point. About 200 meters and some elevation <clears throat> to climb. And we've got Boogie providing uh, okay. AR support. He's firing on someone over here. Yeah, he took shots at Lex Ryan, Evan SMA, opposite side of the valley to their east. And Lex Ryan still running away from that position. All right. So a couple of INS survived from Blackbeard boy. squad. Get up there. Um, I don't want us all fragging at the same time. So I'll keep my gun out hey, if Jack going to throw your frag first. Patrick, and then once you throw your frag, Scott, or Scoff, you can throw yours, and then like I still want us all to throw our frags back. at the same time. No fair. Yeah, someone's on him. Someone's on him. Good kill. That was you, Seneca. You got him. The rockets are... Uh, I think the rockets are still trying to nail Alpha Guido and Silas in this MRAP on the southern ridge line. Three, four, seven. Things are still progressing right now. We're seeing 15 to 6 in the U.S. favor. U.S. doing well to outshoot these guys at distance. U.S. making good use of their assets, their ARs, the MRAPs. We are Sounds actually good. dominating okay, these schools. <laughs> uh, my guys are slowly pushing up. Okay, let's start squeezing them. Reloading. Boogie's reloading. Gun down, guys. Meanwhile, Bag of Joe's fire team starting to make forward progress, and no one has yeah, eyes at the back of this radio tower, Fob. I think the only people that do might be Dwarf. Oh, okay. Will sure. Dwarf actually hear, see this? I don't know. Okay, and we're seeing smoke land south-southwest. Yep. More rockets being fired. They're trying to hit as close as possible, but... My guys are almost on point. Unless those rockets are gonna... Ooh. Fluffs dies to silent. Silent just defending the road by himself. But more, but he's let some US soldiers through. He's trying to fall back to the base. US making real progress on the south. Getting close, but still, the grenades go off. US begin the assault from the north. Look at this fob. Radio inside the red container. Vster goes down. Bag of Joe runs around. Shrike is covered up. Shrike gets killed by Bag of Joe. Ines on the point. Fulcrum rather scout his chef. Fulcrum gets destroyed. And uh, Scott's Timberwolf returns fire on Jack MP. Grenade out from okay. Ines. Overthrown. Rolls down the hill. Lost one over. And Scoff is actually getting shot from behind? Good friend. Yeah, Scott's getting behind, shot from behind. That's Lex and Evan. I, I did too. I used the six round, but that's okay. Alright, we have one. Take a look at that.
<laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Guys, keep it up. Hey, at least yeah, Evan's not going to see these guys for another minute or so. 20 to 9 now as the assault progresses and it's... Here we go. Here comes the big barrage. Barrington and Scoff and Appa, the only U.S. on the point right now, but there's only three INS defending. Dwarf's leading the rest of his fire team to come back up the hill. And this could shut down the northern assault. It's going to make U.S. have to push all of their forces from another way. Silence still causing headaches for the guys in the south. Ackerman ducks down and is looking for silent. Silent in the trees, the bushes. We got a fire team inside I guess we're engaging. Does Ackerman see? Enemy fire team inside I don't think Ackerman sees silent. It's kinda hard. More assault going on here and looks like some more from Wolfgang's squad have joined in. Just over that hill. Still three INS defending the point. Ooh, what was that? Boogie! Shot from behind! Money Man! Or Lima Bean. No, I think it was Money Man. Because guess what? Wolfgang got pegged there, I think. No, someone else died. I am Hardalin gets run upon by D League right, and Company. Yeah, And there the goes, the MRAP has popped the Rocket Techie. I believe that's the Rocket Techie, yes. And the MRAP is just rolling up the hill, no mines. And Hedda takes over Dishka. Dishka tripods can turn 360 degrees. Slev, not anticipating the attack from behind, gets destroyed. Keep clearing. That's one AR down on the point. And here right. we go. US are going to begin clearing this, but I INS on the opposite ridge top, line. Right, right. yeah, yeah. Or actually, INS have started sneaking up the east side. Dorf has now hit his own fortification. <laughs> uh, Dorf is just running at this. Guardian and uh, who's this over here? I don't know. Flicker. And uh, rather Sky's chap gets killed, but Dorf from the ridge takes a few shots. I don't think he made a hit. D Leak is still up. Guardian jumps up and over. Guardian foul in hand. No, 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 he's still alive. D Leak's looking for him. D Leak jumps up. Does D Leak see Guardian? He's dead. Now he does. He's dead. And the uh, Hab is now, or the Fob is now in U.S. control. They just have to dig it down, but I'm looking south, southeast. Why bother digging it down? You can just uh, hold the position. Grenade. Delik eats a grenade. It actually makes it through the fort. It makes it through the sandbag wall. And Dorf is uh, gonna try to sneak around the side here. Obvious entrances are southeast. Yeah, but they're, they're they're crawling along the right now. you hey, should well, be on, able to three, jump this three, wall. Zero, 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 31 kills US, kills. 21 INS. It's coming down to grenade. the wire, but uh, INS... Uh, ooh! The grenade! Down. Takes out some of the sandbag wall, and yeah. Dorf ends up capitalizing on it. More grenades landing. Uh, grenade frags. Our frag grade rush and Dorf gets We're destroyed. Down. Cartwheels off the uh, the fence railing as he tries to go up and over. Nade will kill the we try to run to the radio room. U.S. holding there. the position well. Uh, Surge Eleven still on the ridge line. I think he was the he. I think he was the. Uh, he's the raider. I think. Yeah, he's got a PPSH. He's the raider. So multiple grenades on the raider. Don't get shot. Takes out someone in Lima being a money man. Now it's suppressed by AR, but oh, by a rifle, but Wolfgang goes down. Lima being with the return kill and money man and Lima being are going to run down. Don't get shot. Don't get shot hiding in the bush. Lima being spots him and executes him. 
Getting closer for U.S. Less infantry on the ground. 33 U.S. kills to 25 INS. Point, please. We're really low on guys. Uh, let's see. Are both M wraps still up? We are. There's only one. Yeah, both M wraps are still up, and they're taking a position off the point. Three, do you have calm? Is Frenzy digging this radio? Yes, Frenzy is digging the radio, so INS are going to know that the radio is not in their control. They're going to try to converge on this point. INS don't have the numbers, though. Grom gets destroyed by Surge 11, who's doing a great job staying alive here on this uh, northeast sandbag line. Money Man and Lima Bean are taking the long way around. But unfortunately, Mojo ends up ending Surge 11 on this ridge line. This was pretty exciting. Lots of uh, lots of trading here going on top of the hill, and it looks like we are. Uh, looks like we're done. Lima being a money man now, turned towards the radio. They're taking the uh, low ground here. Dorf is still alive with Lex Ryan. No, Dorf's dead. Lex Ryan is in the hill, or in the field, crawling to get out of it. Yeah, I know. Lima being comes up and oh, hello. One shot's Chris the Ninja pirate out of the gunner's seat of the MRAP. Big oof. Lima Bean with his foul, gonna try to secure the northern side of the hill. Money Man. One shot Silas out of the gunner position of the MRAP. And what is uh, Lima Bean gonna do here? Geezer's dead. Only two infantry on the ground defending the point. What is Alpha gonna do? Is he gonna... He's just trying to look, I think. The last two INS remaining on the point. Lex is actually coming up here. Oh! Ethan from behind! Ethan turns, but he's gonna get shot. Ethan goes down to Money Man. Lib is by himself. In an INS sandwich. Did Liberal shoot, though? Money Man turns back and Dash B and Alpha Queen are dead! Lib kills Money Man! Is Lex gonna search for Lib? No, Lex is still running. It's down to Frenzy! Is it really just me? Oh, God. And this is turned around 2v2 to win the round. Frenzy takes a shot. Wait. Friendly, hello? Did that kill? No. Maybe it is. Mojo? 2v1. Nope. I don't see anyone else. Am I missing? It's just Lex Ryan? Yeah, it's just Lex Ryan for INS. Lib is here, but he's out of local range with Frenzy, and Frenzy's uh, out of position. Frenzy's circling the compound. Lib is uh, still stationary. Frenzy is trying to find a position to look to watch the tower, and I think he's freaking out a little bit. Any friendlies nearby? And uh, let's see here. Lex might have uh, seen Frenzy run, and there he goes. Lex by himself. Where is Lib? Lib is crawling. Did he see Lex just then? He might have. He definitely hurt him. And it's just Lib and Lex. I don't think there's anyone else alive. Lex is gonna circle around and he's gonna clear the hill. And he's gonna reestablish INS hold of the point. Which means Lex is probably going to get told here that he needs to come back up and take the hill. Lib already on the move, though. Cover to cover. Lex could clinch an INS win and make an obscene comeback real. Lex discovers the radio is gone. Big oof. And INS now hold the point, which means 
He could just sit here and let, wait for Lib to come to him. Lib making a move up the hill. Lex doesn't see it. Lib in a prime position to make this to make it end here, but Lib is gonna go through the front door. And Lib gets gunned down. Lex Ryan does it. Bringing the comeback. All the way around. INS down for the majority of the round. Has done it. 36 to 36 with the total kill count there at the end. Unbelievable events. Unbelievable. Whirlwind, round one in the bag. Guess what? Round two coming up very shortly. Stick with us, guys. Uh, we're going to fly over to U.S. Maine here and see what's going on with this brief. We swapped teams. We're going to still follow U.S. in blue. Looks like we're getting ready for a brief if we aren't already seen one. Looks like it'll be starting well, shortly. No one forces. goes there. But, uh, yes, it is possible that if the insurgents have someone all the way out in Juliet, line, they could certainly make things harder for Rebby's squad. It looks like we missed the main part of the brief. contact on that hill, I'm sure he will request permission to go and flank and eliminate Oh, but contact. look at this plan, though. This plan is However, pretty epic. However, the distance uh, from main insurgent fences, it is unlikely that the insurgents are going to position major forces in Juliet 9-9. All right, any other questions, comments, or concerns? So we did miss the brief, but it's no big deal. We're going to see how it turns out. Now just run him over. All right. No one has any other questions. Squad, please go ahead and break him out, and then uh, we're, we're pretty much ready for life. There you go. Cool. Yeah, it's got some walls back, so your um, your chariot away, Tony. X. It's the front one. This is my one. I don't let your kind in here. <laughs> Whoa! What was that supposed to mean? You gotta be, you gotta be like, wash your hands, all right? You get into my MRAP, you're sanitizing. The sanitizer all over the inside of this. Oh, God. It's like a Blackbird, I've pit. got bad news. It, the virus can survive in the air for three hours. It can float around. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna seal this MRAP. Get out the, uh... Sorry, I'm one thing. <laughs> no, it hasn't. I wouldn't worry about that yet. What do I, can I shoot? Don't worry, I'm I'm I will see the plague right here. You, I will shoot everyone with the nitrogen. Wow. Bartok's mic is messed up. All right, we're having some uh, biological, uh, you know, epidemic-related memes. Oh man, uh, virus jokes. Yeah, you know, typical pre-live banter, except for it's not pre-live anymore because we are live, and here we go. Everyone's moving out. Uh, based on all these markers, looks like U.S. want to, uh, obviously own this position and then, uh, strike from the south. So they want to use, I guess they want to use this as a, like a overwatch position and then come from the higher ground <laughs> into the lowest ground to move up to the higher ground. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, okay, yes, Cranky, uh, U.S. are salting right, tower. Just be advised that going up through the yeah, Polar, same thing. Uh, uh, all those schools in my area announced that they were closing for two weeks. As the insurgents will have I saw a pretty funny uh, edit of the University of Michigan page squad where, um, someone changed the description of the university to describe it as an online university. <laughs> Which is technically accurate at this point in time, but, you know. Um, you know, basic stuff. Wash your hands, guys. It's not that hard. 
walk into a room with a sink and some soap and you got some time, just wash your hands. Uh, actually, these marks might have been INS positions. INS pushing way far out here with complete squads. The squad in the south actually pushing across the river is a big question mark that could throw a wrench in U.S. plans. However, there's only one lat in this squad, and it's Grom. They're going to put a mine here in Hotel 10-7, or Golf 10-9, rather. Maybe if they actually use that road, but I think... Wouldn't it just be... I think they're just gonna. All, I thought I heard they were gonna go all the way down through this uh, main road down here. They might just take this back road of the hill. Hard to tell. Three squads on foot, and one squad is mounted up, including command, in the lead vehicle, which okay. We're seeing a mine getting placed here. Mojo 1723 with the scout kit. He's an FTL without the FTL kit. Do they not have enough FTL kits on INS? They don't. Ah, that's an interesting point to mention here. INS only have one fire team lead per squad. And in our mod, you can only see, if they're not a member of your squad, you can only see FTLs and squad leads on the map. FTLs have to have the FTL kit to show up on the map. So that means command for INS can only see the squad lead. Like for three right here, all of these icons of all the icons, the squad lead or the commander can only see Hedda and d -Leak can't see where this fire team is at all this fire team has no visual representation to the commander on his map one of the things that makes it difficult or puts more of a challenge for our um commanders and our operations you gotta stay aware you gotta be communicative with your squad leads squad leads have to at least try to come you know communicate where their squad where their fire teams are if there's no, you know, FTL or the FTL's down, just makes uh, the overhead on tactics and changing your tactics during a round a lot more difficult. No transports for either team. Uh, INS do get a Logitechy, which they are using to run supplies up the hill. And it looks like it was maybe a couple of things, a build and maybe one or two... Uh, one or two full loads of ammo so far. You can see the values in the fob here are over 2k and they're still building one squad plus command on the radio tower. These guys are, what are these guys doing? They're moving out. They're moving way forward and there's uh, three squads of infantry coming towards them right up the hill or the opposite hillside. Um, Frenzy about ready to crest this hill. I mean, he's an AR. Uh, well, okay, maybe not this Infantry hill. Forces advised we have enemy contact spotted Fox Trot 948. Fox Trot 948 on the hill. But Pony has already spotted Sorry, these guys. Enemy squad. 972. Fox Trot 972. You can see Pony barely there in the middle of your screen. He's got the faintest outline ever. And there's the MRAP that Bacon is about ready to light him up with. Um, but Frenzy is unaware and starts receiving 50 cal fire. Prones now realizes the fire is coming from his 1-9. And, uh... What you gonna do? Just gonna sit here. Hill. So ponies diverted a squad to attack this hill. So it looks like an entire We're south and north push here for U.S. Fight, um, INS still spread out, 
one squad we'll north. The There's our squad off. operating around here. This is two fire teams in the south, uh, yeah, and you have one squad on the northern bridge over here at Fox 7, the northwestern bridge, rather. This is the MRAP Bacon Batman firing from uh, this, bait, this MRAP here. Oh, and a kill. Burtonizer's dead. First kill of the round. Baconizer. Or Burtonizer, rather. Sorry, dies, Baconizer. Wow. I see Bacon Batman and Burtonizer and just combined it, and that was the worst thing ever. Pony's still keeping an eye on Frenzy. He sees Frenzy running away. And calls it up. Alright, I've got eyes on Radio Tower. They've got. Pretty okay. Back, come on, up already. I see insurgents where I was last round. Fox Seven. Uh, is that the radio tower? Yeah, I guess it's the radio tower. The radio tower LED uh, is just so massive, so uh, so crazy. Down. There it is. Finally, it pops in. So they see the sandbags, and actually, they see the sandbags on the opposite end. Here is what these radio tower simple, looks like right now. Pockets of sandbags in, deployed into wedges. And contact the enemy. I'm engaging enemy 600 out. I'm I'm engaging 600 out as well. Yeah. They engaging the bridge guys. Uh, location. I guess they are. Yeah, I've seen tracers. Location, Fox seven. Fox seven. Copy. Tracers on that hill. Um, Two, I'd recommend that you just rate contact and you moving. Same with War. Money Man throwing his AR right, out there pretty far. Oh, they're right. skylining. That's how they got spotted. I guess we're skylining on this hill. Yeah, that's, uh, that's doable. Hey, check fire, check fire, check fire. Being engaged by friends. Uh oh, the MRAP shot at Dwarf's guys. Uh oh. Dwarf, yeah, for some reason you're not, you're not marked on the map at all. Not even your guy. They're not marked on the what? map? He is. I can see him. Eh. I can see some confusion. Or scouting for his next move here. Looks like it's going to be down into the valley. Possible enemies near the river. 30 degrees off my position. Meanwhile, looks like D League and a fire team. Is there a squad lead dead? No, squad lead's over here. Which would make that. Oh! Dwarf, that would make so they're trying to engage so Ackerman. They're throwing smoke down the hill. Oh, that's a bad move. The smoke's just gonna roll. It looks like it caught something though, and it's there, but D Leak and Ackerman are are stuck. Wasn't there a third man? Yeah, here's Grom. Golf 947. Golf 947, they're insurgents at those buildings. I'm not sure if they're gonna Ackerman fall away, eats it so that is and dies. Fire team. An AR and AR uh, kills Ackerman in range. Yeah, your fire team's gonna need to be careful. There's gonna be a couple insurgents in those buildings. They tried to sneak uh, up the ridge and no joy. D-Leak is river, trying to figure out river, what. The compound, and the guys that were there close to... Survivors of the, uh, yeah, it's actually Blackbeard uh, uh, in Bartok. Only, like, one or two. They actually are pretty close here. Um, you can see D-Leak is crawled up to the Copy. road. Or at... Yep. Is he still on the side of the hill? No, he's still on the side of the hill. But he's got a way to get up the road, but he's going to get shot if he gets spotted, so he's got to find a way into the bushes. Okay, so I'm seeing at least... It looks like one squad on the point. There's an HMG uh, set up direct... U.S. have no arty or mortars for this mission. It is purely an infantry assault. They have smoke off-map support. They have a six-round burst that could be fired that covers roughly 30 to 40 meters and spreads. And, um, 
they likely either haven't built the together. They also have a command level smoke, uh, which spreads for about 70 meters. Why are the Brits in with the U.S.? Uh, they're observing. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, oh, what do they call it? It's, uh, it's coalition, you know, coalition, uh, observing and, you know, they're just, they're, they're just embedded in that unit. Besides, you know, they have cool uniforms. I mean, sure, why wouldn't you? d is actually running here. Does d know that Blackbeard's here? Probably not, or else he wouldn't be uh, running that way up the hill. d running towards... d running towards, uh... Pony. And Grom is just sitting here, not being able to do anything. It's alright. We can make fun of you anyone. Break, break, we have contact on our hill. East side, east side, oh. east side of our position. At least 100 meters, uh, 100 meters flat. Moving our way, Copy. we're bugging out. East side of our position. Oh, right. he spotted uh, Hedda. Yeah, I'd bring your MRAP in line with your other MRAP and use your mounted infantry to engage. And, yep, Blackbeard's gonna run away. Grom actually okay, started yeah, lagging it as well. as well. And looks like, um, D-Leak is getting engaged by the other yeah, MRAP. That's for the final assault. <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm just making sure you remember it, because I hope you like. Pony has a lot of open ground currently. for me to cover the continued movement east. A lot of it's exposed from the radio. Ooh, these guys are actually... Oh, they set a charge. They set an IED or a charge? A time charge. Sure. On the other hand, U.S. are starting to uh, man the position. There's a charge at Gulf 9-7, the north side... The north-northwest side of this compound. They're actually... U.S. are trying to engage. Are they engaging the hill directly? They are. Rounds are shooting over. But they are engaging the hill directly. And the hill is kind of in a perfect position for this. Looks like Wolfgang has, uh... Manned the... I think that's the, um... The Artie Techie. Away. They're, they're close. Not, they're not uh, Surge is pretty close to this, uh... Remotely detonated explosive. And let's see if we can find it real quick, because I'm kind of curious. It's in front of me. Alright, SPG is firing. Uh, it's positioned on the south side of the hill. SPG took a shot at... The ridge line. And a miss. How funny would it be if they're trying to snipe Pony right now? Pony's kind of in a bad position. This is U.S. Command. Oh, a TK on INS. The rocket techie coming in as well. The rocket techie started fire. Before I would keep moving before they figure out how to use that. Yeah, it looks like the insurgents kind of on the hill. They have a couple rings of defenses. Couple ranks of defenses is probably right. INS trying to figure out how to use his rocket techie. Of course, these guys RPG close are probably not in a uh, effective range or an effective angle to engage with the rocket techie. Um, do you see the oil barrels? Uh, not Wait. Directly, but I, so will... I think one of the. On the cliff. I think one of the uh, techies just um, got destroyed or okay, got hit. So if you look at the oil barrel. Grom actually got a shot off. How did that happen? So, Bacon Batman's MRAP is down with past 50% health. It is stable, is not burning down, but Grom got a shot on it. That was a pretty good shot, too. Easily a 400 meter shot from Grom there. What a hit. Sorry, I missed it. That was an awesome shot. They're gonna hide. They're gonna hide. Stationary target, but I mean, you know, we take those. I think INS takes those. A shot's a shot. Ooh, okay. Fortifications continue to grow, especially around the tower itself. The radio's right in the middle. SPG. 
SPG is firing. Right, I'm not so sure where that landed. Fire down a little bit and it'll hit the uh, SPG. It's currently hitting the rock techie. So they're uh, Pony's trying to talk the uh, is trying to talk the, uh, the the MRAP on the target. Scott, I think. I wonder if he's trying to hit the art techie from there. Uh, scoff. Still on the uh, SPG. Fires another shot. Copy. Contact south. Contact south. Top of the hill. Contact south. Top of the hill. RPG. Copy that. Yeah, we got three guys. They're not friendly. They're shooting. Yeah, no, he's flat here. They're getting close, guys. Oh, they're U.S. making moves here. Two squads across, and look at this. There's an INS squad trying to close the door from the side. Ooh, and INS. Getting a kill here. Copy that, Midas. Wait, Inus got a kill here? Wait, did D League and Grom make that shot? Holy crap! Now they're trying to shoot D-Leak and uh, Grom. What a distraction play. And I guess it's worth it. D-Leak and Grom. Grom got a shot on the... Got a square hit on the MRAP. D-Leak is up and he's still looking for targets. And they're just sitting here. Our US have not made a move since they made it to that side of the hill. All right. Thinking they were in defilade, they were not. Oh, the SPG is now trying to engage Jack 800. Alright, Command 1 and 2 is just gonna have to make a play here. We can't wait for that shit to get fixed. Um, can you give us smoke? Actually, scratch it. We can probably get up there another ridge line before we have to use it. HMG now engaging the uh, MRAP directly. Looks like it took damage and it was abandoned. But it's not abandoned. Bacon's just not in the gun anymore. Is the SPG in a position to actually engage U.S. forces? I don't know. U.S. taking their time, but they are moving forward. Looking at it. Squad 2 is taking the southeast hill, and they are in position. They're looking to make this happen. A squad lead is down for uh, U.S. Meet us in charge of 2 right now. Contact east of me on the hill. And the uh, ARs on the hill now lighting Copy up yep, U.S. forces. Rebbe's Where are the MRAPs? Where are the ARs? Where is the smoke? They can't even get up here. Jack has actually killed Liberal. Uh, what a shot from Jack Wade Hunter. We know he's a good shot, but starting to take some casualties here. Four kills to U uh, Inus is five for U.S. Uh, U.S. all pushing from the same direction. Remember, there is a INS squad lurking around Echo 8 and moving slowly to get a position on this high ground here. And that could really right, screw up this U.S. push. Squad four, U.S. Uh, it's a me, Manny, making a point. All pushing from the same direction? Seems like it. Here comes Smoke, Artie. They're going to try to... Uh, Force INS to displace from this position, but what are they gonna do? Slide to the left? Slide to the right? Crisscross? 
Everybody clap your hands. Cha cha, real smooth. Let's go to work. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. Um Meet us. Meet us, the super chungus trying to get out here out in front of the rest of the platoon. Silent now trying to engage these targets. INS has fallen off the top of the hill. But it's still a long way for US to make a point here and multiple explosives being placed. Silent is still there if you hit him. I move, never mind. It's getting kind of. It's not a one life. This is a one life Check event. Check me by Zerat. He's hanging out in the field. Right um, this is a one life event. Baba Bob Bobson. He's in the bushes right now. Honestly, guys. Bobo. Bubba Bobson. Okay. I got your name right. Alright, let's try and kill one of them. Licker dies. Looks like, uh. Jack 800. Jack 800 is dead. Big oof, squad lead and down for US-4. Looks like Fulcrum's running four now. I'm seven. Copy that, George. Looks like those guys are cleaned up. Thinking of buying this game, Nemus? Yeah, it's pretty fun! Smokes? Wait, what? Wait. Yeah. U.S. are smoking off against D-Leak? I guess Hedda and Old Geezer are also there, but I mean... That is overkill. D-Leak is causing major problems for this line. U.S. are not doing good. Matter of fact, they've pushed past... Stevo, Who I guess ran down the hill. He was deployed up here and he ran down the hill with Flicker. Flicker died and Stevo is stuck here. He's letting U.S. pass him. He's gonna get a kill on Fulcrum. Is he? He's gonna get a kill on Fulcrum? Fulcrum kills Stevo. Looks like Stevo hit uh, the tree and was not effective against Fulcrum. One bullet landed though. Fulcrum's gonna have to bandage. Do you want four to attack or hold the east? Clear the east and seize the hill. Seize the hill in I 98 and provide fire support from it. I 9 And Fulcrum's seconds. asking for Smoke to move, you guys know, you and guys it looks know. like uh, Smoke coming in. Being, you guys INS still a real strong Three, position. Where is this? Oh, look at this. Pony's gonna die out. real soon. Let's let's move away from that line and take a look at what's actually going on here. Adakin's squad is, is still completely is, uh, intact, and Pony is again, it? on this ridge line, uh, a ways away, and he is running, but he risks being shot in the back unless he can get to that next ridge line down that hill. Steve-O, oh, Steve-O, he's dead. I miss, I, I, and here comes the smoke missions. Yep, there we go. And... U.S. need to make a move, and here they go. They're all streaming up. They've got about two minutes effective time with that smoke on the ground. They've got to make a push. This is the commander level smoke I was talking about. A bit more than 70 meters distance. It's probably like 100 meters. I think two missions were deployed there. We have no comms with you anymore. Copy. Alright, our mission's over. You guys have 30 seconds, Dor. 30 seconds. Smoke's gonna start dissipating. Fulcrum's running straight into a squad. Hedda and the rest of three are actually moving in. This is kind of weird. Uh, for US IED blown prematurely. Smoke is dissipating. 
We're about as far as we can get at this time. Copy. And the smoke causes U.S. to pause on the closer right, ridge line. Gonna, uh, gives them something to work with, but right up the hill, uh, razor wire blocking their access Copy is going to funnel them into positions where INS want them to be. Yep. Fulcrum. Oh, wait. What is this? Bartok soloing the MRAP is going to go up on the hill and try to help Fulcrum out. Fulcrum's fire team now has elevation. But Hedda has Scottish chap pinned and is looking for targets. Fulcrum might be an obvious target for someone here. But I think Hedda and Geezer are kind of, uh, kind of hesitating, poking their head up above. Some of the rounds are actually being shot at Fulcrum, go right over his head. Like two or three bursts. Hedda gets destroyed by Modern Death. Modern Death deployed on a on a wall next to the road. Great use of the terrain. And old geezer has actually gotten hit as well. Great job there by Modern Death. We're gonna go back to the main push for US. Two squads looks like they're now staged in and around here. Squad two for US have no command comms, so everything's being done in local to keep two in the loop. Or at least the remainders of two. And they're coming up the hill right now. See a bunch of them. Just just right of where the wire is, I just saw contact. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. I saw it. Looks like INS trying to maneuver to around to hold their well, position. Yeah, There's the still a whole squad closing on the rear of the U.S. formation. So the U.S. spread the thin itself. over about 900 yeah. meters. He's dead. He's dead. Let's go. Money got a kill. Money actually hit Barrington. I thought it was a kill. Barrington needs to get bandaged and... And... Prepare to defend his position. Lima Bean and Money making an all-out run to try to swing around to the northeast, uh, northwest side here. Start. Start. Appa is actually on top of this hill in position. He's looking for targets. Takes a few shots at looks like Groot from the opposite ridge line. And uh, oh, hey, Money Man, he's dead. Gets a kill. Appa dead. Right NC here. Hill, one meter away from me. Did Hill go down? Oh no, he's not right here. There's an AR. He's right there, dog. Radio tower compound. Open your eyes. So I for uh, Felucia is this new map that's supposedly coming in a future update. At the door of the radio tower compound. Right at yeah, right at the door of the radio tower. There's double sandbag and he's sitting on. It's been in development for a while. All right, I have a three-man crew from Squad Two. It's Money Man, Lima But I don't think we've Hill. seen anything new from it for a little bit. Uh, oh, hey, look, the MRAP's now uh, destroying defenses, suppressing sandbags. There's really not a lot of INS on the point here. Only let's see, two, four, six. Ooh, and Evan just got lit up. Boogie eats a grenade. Sergeant Jackson gonna have to bandage while he moves to try to get into harder cover here. Um, Groot is yeah, trying to I, shoot someone. Who's he trying to shoot? Oh, I don't know. INS down to about six defending their point. Thank you, three. Thank you, and Money Man yep. and Lima Bean yep. are yep. on point. They're starting to clear the hill from the north. And they have to be careful. Right, Some of these uh, MRAP rounds are actually right. hitting the sandbags in front of them. Kind of oof. But well, what you gonna do? They're gonna have to stay close to the cover so the MRAP doesn't actually light them up. Pony's leading the remainder of an element. Oddball and cellar door up the hill. Silas right behind them. What is this? Is we Silas just chasing these guys the down? Like, Silas make, uh, is chasing yeah, these guys down. Yeah. Silas still running. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, we're Silas yeah. is still running. He levels the scorpion. Sell it down. And Pony turns around Did and ends Silas. Die? Shit. Well, I'll Sorry. Um, just as he was telling me that, uh, 
I was trying to, and now I lost. No, 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 no. Give, give up, give up, give up, buddy. Give up, give up. Don't talk. <laughs> You're dead. But uh, yes, good, good work, good work, good, good try. Uh, command is now in. Unfortunate. I'm gonna try and fall back and link up with squad ones, guys. And once you know it, Adakin has made it across the river, and he's running straight at Fulker and Bartok. His, uh, he's got a squad in tow. Let's spoon out here. He's actually split up a fire team. So it looks like his Charlie fire team is providing long range fire support. And he's got a fire team trying to move to him. Uh, Adakin, taking contact here. Shrike. However, there are enemies west. He's gonna have to fight Shrike now, and Fulcrum is in the, uh, rather Scottish chap is also looking for this contact. Adakin versus Shrike. Shrike gets a kill. Shrike takes a bullet. And his fire team is right behind, but not quick enough to get in the contact. They're trying to climb this hill. It's taken a little while for them to do so. So, unfortunate. We'll come back to that in a second, because that's going to be an important fight there, as Adrian's squad starts to get in the war. On the point, NC Hill, Lima, and Money, all that remained of the U.S. force pushing down from the north. From the south, right, Group, Silent, and Zsek uh, right, are actually making it. Uh, okay. And Pony just got destroyed. Blackbeard uh, has a fire team. Um, uh, right, yeah, he's got a fire team. And looks like he's trying to take command over radio. And trying to get the guys to converge on the point. 24 kills, US 19 for INS. So it's still US favored. Slightly. Uh... U.S. haven't really made effort to get in the compound. But there's only right, two, three people... Wait, is Blackbeard the only one on command comms? No, that shouldn't be the case. Actually, no, that's the squad. Yeah, so Blackbeard's the only one on the command comms right now. For U.S. So command comms uh, fractured completely. U.S. forces. Don't get shot. As Groot and Silent right on top of his position. And don't get shot, get shot from behind and drops his grenade close. But one gets out and there goes Groot. He gets shot from behind by Lima Bean, I think. Jack MP turned around and is looking for that contact, but Money might be uh, able to see him through these bushes. If Money gets a little closer. Jack gets in the bushes. Oh, never mind. Jack gets shot in the face by uh, Silent there. He's right in front of us, yes. Northwest. And U.S. on the hill. Is there anyone else on the hill? Wolfgang is still in the container. And Money Man's about to clear it. Yep, there's one inside the fence. And, uh, what else are you gonna do? You just spray and pray and pre-fire the heck out of that container. And Money Man does it. He takes a bullet for his trouble, but, uh, so U.S. have cleared the hill. Charge planted? So I guess the engineer has planted a charge on the, uh, the radio here. So... Low charge? It's timed. It's timed. Oh, it's timed? Money Man, how many guys you got? I thought you had the little ones. It's timed, dude. But the radio yeah, tower is Say goodbye to the down. radio. No, 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 no. Almost. Pretty sure it was. Alright, let's go dig. It takes it down about halfway. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, INS on the back foot here. The, the only one close enough to destroyed. do anything is you Alpha Guido. INS yeah, closing in. Alpha Guido actually has it's eyes on the radio. Uh, all, south, all over the south. I was not friend of those in their cat. But the, uh, the radio is down and US now own the position. Alpha Guido falls off, and he's moved towards Silent. Oh, man, look at that. Silent catches Alpha Guido not looking, and Alpha Guido bends over backwards and uh, gives up. Big oof. Is that a MRAP? Yeah, Bartok is still in his MRAP, and he's uh, bringing that thing up the hill. INS losing the grip on the round. 28 kills to US, 22 for INS. They're still an organized element, and they're still causing problems in the backfield here. INS off the point. They're going to have to retake the point against a outnum. Uh, they're outnumbered when they're going to do. They're going to do so. They're still split up. Two full fire teams, pretty much. Save their squad lead, who's gone. 
Uh, they've split up between these two positions. Looks like a you know, buddy team's going to run around. Probably going to catch Beware unawares in the rear. Why is your bottom in the middle? Beware actually is turned towards contact. Is he? Yeah, turn towards contact. He spots by your bottom in the middle. Puts two in him. Bodyshot by the middle runs away to cover and he's going to bandage. He might do it in time. He took a lot of hit. He took a lot of health uh, damage there. Ish me trying to find Beware. Needle on haystack time, but is visible if Beware or if Ishmi wants to take a peek. Beware now runs. Does Ishmi see it? Nope. Ishmi should see this. Ishmi doesn't see this. Uh, Beware trying to make a run on Wise Bomb the middle. Inus forces, however, on the west side of the hill. Make it a move. They're going to sweep around the west side. Watch by the middle. Does he see Beware? No, probably not. Meanwhile, west side of the hill. British, or sorry, U.S. forces get on the top of the hill and uh, they just parked that MRAP up there. Wait, did someone get shot out of the MRAP? I think someone just got shot out of the MRAP. Bartok got shot out of the MRAP. Oh, man. INS. What are you going to do? Silent gets a kill on zero point. This element's going to fracture. Young Savage is dead in the bushes. After US basically perforate the whole thing. Exoskeleton's close up on NC Hill, but NC Hill hears him trying to sneak around, and there goes Exoskeleton. And it's falling apart here for INS. It's surely over. Ish me, the only one left on the east side. Redibus is actually far behind. He's way disconnected from this assault. It's just Prophet Brahamid making this last push here. Is Silent trying to shoot at Redibus? Money Man and NC Hill both take down Prophet Brahamid. He's down. He's down. Three, two, one. So now it's just Ishmi and Redibus. Redibus trying to link up with Ishmi, I think. Kill count this time, 34 to 24 for U.S. A lot of uh, discombobulation with the initial push here from, I, from U.S., but uh, they make it work in the end. And they have the numbers to get up the hill. INS were out of position, this squad... If they were in position on the hill, might have been a little bit more of a headache. Even if they were, like, on... Actually, I don't know. Where could they have, this squad have been if they wanted to keep, like, a... They could have been here. If the uh, the flanking squad the Aitken led was, like, on this position, or on these hills, that assault would have gone very differently for U.S., And shots being fired. I think Redibus just took a hit there. Redibus is just flat out running now. From cover to cover. Redibus, does he have any more bandages? Yes, he does. He's bandaging. Silent is probably trying to make a move on these guys. Where is he at? Where's Silent? Oh, he's up on top. Yeah, Redibus gets out of this position. Silent. Ah, oh, he's moving. Lima Bean... On top of that hill there, taking notice towards the south of the part of the hill. Uh, Ishmi making progress up the hill. Just trying to get some kills. At this point, that's all INS can do. He's going to throw a grenade. That's not going to get very far. Might hit Beware. No, it doesn't. It actually backfires because it hits a tree and it bounced off. Redibus takes a shot. And he's gonna move nor he's gonna move west here and try to sweep around the west side. <clears throat> Did Beware just try to snipe at uh Redibus there? Whoa. Alright, Redibus. You got an AR. Go prone. Get some kills. 
Or just go semi-auto and, you know, 10 people. All you guys, Gail's 10. Can you do it? Red was taking shots at something. I guess he sees movement in the compound. Money Man wants to get this over with. Red was takes shots at Money Man, but he's overshooting. And gets lasered by, I think that was lightning. Uh, that was a shot. And I think that's going to do it for us. And GG is called. A US win for round two. Pony successful two out of two times today. First round by the skin of his teeth. Second time. That was a little bit, was a little bit more clear of a victory. Final kill count, 35 to 24 for US. What a round, what a game. What craziness.